circular motion and centripetal force. Try this. Tie a stone to one end of a string. Take the other end in your hand and rotate the string so that the stone moves along a circle. Are you applying any force on the stone? In which direction is this force acting? How will you stop this force from acting? What will be the effect on the stone? As long as we are holding the string, we are pulling the stone towards us, that is, towards the center of the circle and are applying a force towards it. The force stops acting if we release the string. In this case, the stone will fly off along a straight line, which is the tangent to the circle at the position of the stone when the string is released because that is the direction of its velocity at that instant of time. You may recall that we have performed a similar activity previously in which a 5 rupee coin kept on rotating circular disc flies off the disc along the tangent to the disc. Thus a force acts on any object moving along a circle and it is directed towards the center of the circle. This is called the centripetal force. Centripetal means center seeking, that is, the object tries to go towards the center of the circle because of this force. You know that the moon, which is the natural satellite of the earth, goes round it in a definite orbit. The direction of the motion of the moon as well as its speed constantly changes during this motion. Do you think some force is constantly acting on the moon? What must be the direction of this force? How would its motion have been if no such force acted on it? Do the other planets in the solar system revolve around the sun in a similar fashion? Is a similar force acting on them? What must be its direction? From the above activity, example and questions, it is clear that for the moon to go around the earth, there must be a force which is exerted on the moon and this force must be exerted by the earth which attracts the moon towards itself. Similarly, the sun must be attracting the planets including the earth towards itself.